As I'm so gassed that this gives haze. Yo, we're f doing it though. Alright, we're f thriving. That was really nice. <laughs>what's up and welcome everybody to a new murders at carlos manor standard video and in this video we are playing the mirror skeletons because chat has challenged me to brew this deck and obviously i am always up for the challenge let's have a look at what skeletons we're uh, we're working with here so we have cold conscript a few copies in there skeleton warrior and there's the battlefield tapped and it's a two one which the card's fine you know we like that it's a skeleton so we want to play it for that reason because the skeletons have massive payoff in Corpses of the Lost, which is a 3-mana enchantment that gives skeletons you control plus 1 plus 0 and haste. And when Corpses of the Lost enters the battlefield, you do create a 2-2 black skeleton pirate creature token. At the beginning of your end step, if you descend at this turn, you may pay 1 life and put corpses back into its owner's hand. So giving skeletons haste is really relevant because something like Haste of the Scash Skeletons, the skeleton token that you create upon entering the battlefield, will get haste. That would be a 3-1 uh, skeleton with, with haste, which is pretty good and obviously suspect, so menace as well. Another skeleton that we're working with is the Haunted Bone Brute, which is a 3-mana 6-2 with menace, and when it enters the battlefield, the target opponent creates two 1-1 one, one white dog creature tokens. And when it dies, each opponent loses 3 life. Now, the way to go around giving your opponent the dog tokens is disguising it. So technically, this is like a 5-mana 6-2, but still very strong and super relevant with the haste from corpse of the lost if you have like five mana available to do so now corpse of the lost is the strongest card in this deck so obviously we want to try and like maximize its value as much as we can and that's why i've decided to make this a descent shell so we're playing select that stalker as an additional like descent payoff card but we have cards like Malcolm, Bitter Triumph, and Souls of the Lost to kind of enable descending as much as we can. And we also played Undercity Sewers, which is the new Demir colored reveal land. So whenever we descend, if we have a Corpus of the Lost on the battlefield, we put it back into our hand and we create more skeleton tokens and we go crazier. Because we're descending, we need to make sure that we have some targets to discard or whatever or sacrifice. So Tenacious Underdog makes a pretty good target there. And so does the Cold Conscript, which is it's okay, you know? We also have some gigs in here for card draw. This is like a recent addition because at first I was working with invasions, but I didn't feel like they did enough work. So gigs has been a lot more value in a deck like this. We don't really have many flyers, but nearly all our creatures do have either menace, or I guess some of them have flying too, but a lot in this deck has menace. So it still gives you a really good chance at drawing enough cards with gigs if you need to. This deck was honestly <laughs> pretty insane. It's definitely like an aggro deck. Like some people are thinking about like, okay, no, it's like another Demir midrange deck. Nah, it's fully just like a, a typo like aggro deck. And I, I was pretty impressed like for what it is. It, it's done good. I had a five and two record with it. Not incredible sample size, but we love to see it still for like a skeleton deck. And one of the greatest things about this archetype is that we're getting, we already know that in the next set, Outlaws of Thunder Junction, we're getting more skeletons. Like this deck is one or two good skeletons away from popping off because that Corpses of the Lost is huge. Like the haste is incredible. So we already know like Tiny Bones has been revealed already. So Tiny Bones would be a great addition to a deck like this. And hopefully we'll see some more skeletons. So uh, look out for Demir skeletons in the future, but it's already a threatening enough deck at the moment in the current standard. So let me show you what the deck is capable of. Before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. And um, make sure that you don't miss out on any of my other brews as well through subscribing. So thank you so much and let's get in some gameplay. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards like their incredible katana sleeves, which are my absolute favorite for saving up my magic decks. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure, and stylish. If you're interested in getting the best sleeves on the market, make sure to use my link in the description below. Mm. I'm not a hater. I just hope opponents playing creatures. Kind of. Hog, Monogreen, Factory Made Skeletons, yeah. 
Um, ooh, another stalker isn't bad at all, though. Uh, I already got one. I want to get the trigger now, I think. Because I don't... I think I'm always casting Bitter Triumph next turn, so it would make it a little awkward for me to cast the um, Stalker and then Triumph. Like, I don't think I do that. Topiary! Oh, okay. Yo, Dario, what's up? Thank you for the 12. Hey, yo, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, this is doing... Bessie's doing something different, though. Hmm... I think this thing is technically a 5 mana 6 too, which... Hmm. Wait, are they like domain? They're not. I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what they are. Let them live. No, I think I'm better off either like hitting a land or hitting something else. Turn face up. All right, gas. Nissa. Everything's not menace though. Like you're not. That's not gonna save you. <laughs> Yo, like this is like, hey yo. Now, hold on now. All right. A menacing victory? No, it's true. Did you take him? Looks like Demir mid range. <laughs> I don't hate it. Why didn't we play the 60 without disguise? Because then you give your opponent two one ones. Which, uh, not ideal. Like, the Bone Brood really is one of those cards that you can't play, like, regularly, I don't think. Ever. Hmm. Yeah. It's not ideal. That's one of the cards that I did end up reading. Hope you're proud. <laughs> I mean, still, like, the dogs block the skeleton, so... I'm tempted to go for greed here and do like bitter triumph plus case. Or I could do even better yet bitter triumph, pay to three, remove holy K, play a souls. We'll just discard case, I guess. Try to make moves towards the invasion. Alright, yeah, sure. If your opponent is at three damage, sure. Um Damn shame I just threw into this. we got him. We're chunky. They're chunky too though. Hmm. 
Nah, I don't think so, Bestie. Liliana plus to feed the souls. If I do it like this, they could do block one of them, double block one and chomp the other. Um... still swing because if they top deck a land I'm also fucked so yeah but what if they top deck a forest here I'm not gonna block all of a sudden then right so it's like we might as well make the board a bit more favorable for ourselves so I mean Shrinks there, dude, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do case. Like, at least we get the invasion of flip soon. I don't really know what we're grabbing, but we'll make moves. Yeah, I think so. I think Souls doesn't work. I guess maybe we just grab the Turtle as a 4-4. Four -four. Like, I'm not mad at that. Gets us a land back, too. Polo flipping combo. Yeah, we could activate Refit Turtle in play. Can I afford to pay the one here? What's their best draw? Arc Druid's Charm, but it gives a 1-1 one, one counter and removes my turtle. Yeah, Poli doesn't work the same as the LCI Gods because Poli doesn't transform upon dying, so that doesn't work. It doesn't go off at a legendary. You need to have like the, the dying claws. Dying and transforming. I don't think I need to do this. I think we're looking pretty good at lethal anyway. Alright, we managed. Let's go. We managed. This life slay. I'm seeing Stevie Nicks in like a couple months, y'all. Like, I'm fucking hyped up. Mother alive. spoiler season starts soon yeah it should sunset think for the five. Oh fuck is this what i think it is enchantments was there a zombie token army avatar i don't know oh lord i don't like generous visitor furry mtg that's gonna be bloom barrow furry mtg I think I need to focus to with me. I'm gonna play Malcolm out. Sh 
Shrek universes beyond. <laughs> oh god. Thing is, do I want to keep replaying corpses? I think I'm better off like slamming a skeletina or something here. non-furry cards <laughs> the whole set's just gonna be like cute cute creatures or some shit so we'll see yes, i'm so gassed that this gives haste more rats yo we're fucking doing it though um, I don't think I need invasion here. I'm gonna do undercity sewers. I'm not mad at that, but I kind of know my next turn. It's gonna be replaying corpse. I'm okay with this. If they don't give us a tiny bones avatar, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Tiny bones with a cowboy hat, cowboy hat on, please, like one time. I would find true happiness. Wow, virtue of strength, okay. The people just want one thing and that's tiny bones with a cowboy hat. And it's a tiny bones plushie if it's not too much to ask. All right, we're fucking thriving. That was really nice. <laughs> Looks fine. I'm gonna like find the tiny bones art again because I'm obsessed. Where's tiny bones? Tiny bones. So fucking cute. Case of the Uneaten Feast. What the hell? Where did you get life gain from? Catilda? Tiny Bones and Historic Brawl. Uh, the only time I sometimes play Historic Brawl is for Tiny Bones. It's true. I mean, Bone Brood can absolutely be gas here. Maybe I'll get rid of a... Nah, Deluge is kind of awkward with Malcolm. But Deluge can get really good value. Maybe I'll de just get rid of Souls of the Lost. Or do I want to replay? Nah, I need a land. Yeah, I wish. Five O with angels for the live gain one. Oh, word. You know, I wouldn't hate a, the idea of a land. Just, just saying. Anyway, I'll just do this guy right now. Chunky boy with menace. sure like it cleans up their shit i'm okay with that i'll discard deluge at this point i don't really need it anymore i don't think sure oh yeah you're damn right they got like fucking 200 cards i didn't even see that <laughs> oh my god 
I'm like, why is people like my deck size? Yeah, they're fucking... I don't know. Definitely an experience. The spirit his companion rises to the top. Oh, okay, they took all that. All right. Well, an army. Rebel rousing <laughs> gas. Like, I'm not, I don't even care, like, respectfully, Malcolm. Like, I don't. I'm sorry. Nah, they thought they ate. I mean, <laughs> sure. I'm not a hater. God, why do Demir decks always look so fucking pretty, though? Like, something about the black and the blue together that just hits different. I don't know. They just look so pretty. to use a skeleton enchantment it's sold at the end of your turn so you should not play another enchant that casts a skeleton that's correct but i'm not activating it so i'm not activating it also it says no suspected skeletons so that's different you can still control a skeleton and get your case to solve i'm, I'm swinging in Topiary, okay. Nah, like, Demir just looks so pretty always. Like, I don't know. We can't help but stand. Yeah. And my incredible noodles. They were absolutely gross. Good shit. But I'm not hungry anymore. I got like... Should've played Skeleton Swarming. Oh, true. That would've gone hard. Get countered, bestie. I mean, it is what it is. Like, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, you're really fucking brave, Imidane. I don't think so. All right, that's one is uh, a win at least. Let's go. Nice. Tiny bones with corpses run turning into actual Ragavan. <laughs> it's what we deserve, you know. Oh, I mean, it's gotta be a keep, but it's like, ah, I wish we had a bit better stuff. Like one drops or two drops, but it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like, thank God it is, because corpses is uh, really fucking cool. Corpses is great. Our start is a bit too slow here, though, I fear. However, let's slam corpses. No, I'm not playing Phyrexian Arena. Okay. Bessie's missing out on land drops. Interesting, that. 
summon other corpses. Gas, let's go, gas. <laughs> Two corpses. Hitting for eight, dude. Incredible. All right. Well, slay, we take it. You know, this is like a classic case of RNG balancing out perfectly. That's not even YouTube kids, like 50 year old people that are in my comments like, whoa, you're so unprofessional for swearing. Like, <laughs> all right, man. Wish I, I cared, but I don't. Come to the Europe one time, expand your knowledge of other cultures and maybe you'd know. It's not that serious. Hmm. Start off with this here. Yeah, like we ball. We really ball. Do I set up double stalker here? Maybe. Nah, like we're just hanging out. Like nothing about. I mean, I personally i don't think anything what i do is necessarily like, malicious or anything and if i like swear to like enhance some words it's never meant in like a bad way but i think at the end of the day the intentions that you have are what matters more than anything you know yeah it's not like malicious like hate speech or some shit like i don't know If a lot of folks like to judge to make themselves look better. Yeah, it's giving that for sure. I'm better than you behavior. But it's weird. It's weird to witness it. Always be weird. A braid? <laughs> okay. Got some skeletinas. Mm. I really wish I had a land. It would make this so much better. I guess I gotta be a bit greedy here. I'll do this guy. Oh, Sorcery Speed Deluge. Eh. All right, I'll turn the face up. Sure. Not looking too bad, but not feeling too safe necessarily. Really need to land. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah, I was expecting that. All right, this hand has definitely not worked out for us at all. At least that balances each other out a little bit. Bone dog down. I repeat, bone dog down. Tutor for lands. Yeah, diva down. <laughs> diva down. Yeah, land would be great. Oh, let's go. Hog. Managed to make it work. Daphne's Evelyn. <laughs> she would save us. What's the next Bessie tour? It's being planned. It's being planned. My life has been very fucking hectic this month, I fear. So, um... Yeah. The trauma from the, the Bessie tour massacre is still very fresh. <laughs> A little fresh, I fear. All right, I don't need more lands. At Worlds, real. Nah, it's definitely planned. I'm hoping uh, at the beginning of the next month, maybe somewhere there. We're, we're, we're working on it. We do be working on it. Magical Vegas. <laughs> In-person Bessie tours definitely are the best. I'm going to slam hers. The bullying ends here. The Bastard were massacre. <laughs> yeah, it really was. I want to listen to like my um my my 80s Final Girl playlist. I haven't listened to that one in a while. It was in bops though. 
Where is that? Where'd they go? <laughs> what? I guess you're just doing it to ramp up in another way? I don't know. Yeah, that was cute. <laughs> that was cute. X is one world so rage. Feels tiny bit of a waste, but... What's the Bessie tour? Uh, basically a tournament that I organize uh, every now and then. I wish it was more like a monthly thing, but uh, yeah, a baby rage. <laughs> Community tournament, yeah. Ill-timed explosion. Are you removing a 3-2 to a board wipe? It's a little desperate. Okay, let's go in this uh, vibey playlist. 80s horror final girl. Yeah, yeah. We we had one planned for around like Halloween time where basically everybody had to play a horror typo deck um, with some... Uh, with a copy of like the the lantern with the skeleton not the skeleton the um pumpkin lantern in it which is really cute but then at that point the ntg arena like friend system didn't work so we couldn't get through with it every like around like four or five people got disqualified because they couldn't pair up so i mean that problem has since been fixed fortunately but the matchmaker was uh yeah the friend list stuff was pretty bad All right, Skeletina. Here we go. Eighties boss, it's true. <laughs> Goes too hard. People didn't care whether or not their song went viral on TikTok, you know. <laughs> Please. Mm. We're still ramping though. All right, I'm going to exile the land plus the memory. Flash in Malcolm. Mm -hmm. All right, so the send is triggered now. It's going to discard the license first or something here. Yep, back into the hand. Thank you. I've done a gate for a potential counter. All right, Cliff, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. Yeah, we're not going to do that counter. I think we can win next turn with a hearse attack and the corpses. Vanover's $20. So it's kind of like. It used to be like much higher at one point, didn't it? A good card. No, it's true. Yo, we just win. <laughs> like, this is how many times have we played against this this World Soul Rage deck, and they just eat shit the graveyard hate like they just fold all of a sudden the whole deck sucks like 
this is like what about this screams mid-range to you like what about this deck tries to target the meta like please go ahead and tell me i need to land Mid-range decks curves out and tar curve out and target the meta. We're playing an aggro deck. <laughs> like you know. Here we go. We're playing an aggro descend deck. Nothing about this screams mid-range. I like Malcolm a lot, but he really wants to play with a larger top end. Why? Like, chat, respectfully, love you so much, but like, some of you all just are missing the mark. Malcolm is not here to cast free shit. Malcolm is here to trigger the send. Like, I'm not discarding a seven drop to get it from Malcolm. Like, that's not... That's not the point. <laughs> like, like, respectfully, like, appreciate y'all so much, but... No. Basically, just no. That questing druid play was sus. I mean, my Malcolm has, like, cast stuff before in Limited, but, you know. Even in, I mean, in Constructed, like, Malcolm has hit before, but that's not really the point, like. We're not playing mid-range. Lots. I mean, I said it when I built the deck. It's our targets for Skeletina and our targets for Invasion of a Mooncast. Like, Skeletina obviously is a tutor effect. Like, if our game goes on long and we want to tutor for an Eclazot or a Ripper, we can. If we manage to get lucky with Invasion and we hit Ripper or Bat, we're cool with that too. That was kind of why they were in there for, like... Not exactly Groovin, like, some people just see the colors Demir and their brain is wired to think, oh, it's mid-range, and then all of a sudden every Demir deck is a mid-range deck, but that's not how it works. advice but at the end of the day like our problem has not been running out of cards so why target a problem that does not exist i don't know i mean i understand people want to like put their input in or whatever but it 
if anything the problem of this deck is that our individual card quality is just not that good like <laughs> like but that's also we're playing fucking skeletons like be serious yeah it's, it's a it's a cool aggro deck like i'm happy i'm vibing uh okay sure we'll take it i'm vibing like i'm having a good time i love playing with skeletons like <laughs> i love skellies